In this video, we're going to look at the parts of a circuit. Have you ever had a toy or torch that wouldn't work? To understand why, we need to learn about circuits. In this video, we'll discover how electricity needs a complete path to flow. A circuit is a complete path or loop that electricity flows around. The word circuit comes from circle. Electricity needs to travel in a complete circle to work properly. Most small circuits start with a cell or battery. A cell is a small container of chemicals that create electricity. Two or more cells together make a battery. The battery pushes electricity around the circuit. A battery's pushing power is called voltage. The higher the voltage, the harder it pushes electricity around the circuit. It's like the strength of water pressure in a hose. Wires connect the different parts of a circuit. They're made of metal, usually copper, inside a plastic covering. The metal lets electricity flow through it, while the plastic keeps the electricity safe inside. The different parts of a circuit are called components. Batteries, wires, bulbs and switches are all components. Each one has a special job to do. A bulb creates light when electricity flows through a tiny wire inside it called a filament. The filament gets so hot it glows brightly and that's how we get light. Here's a simple circuit. The battery pushes electricity through the wires to the bulb which lights up and then back to the battery again. It's a complete loop with no gaps. If there's a gap or break anywhere in the circuit, electricity can't flow. It's like a roadblock. The bulb won't light up because the electricity can't make a complete journey. A switch lets us turn electricity on and off without unplugging anything. When the switch is closed, electricity can flow through it. When the switch is open, it creates a gap and stops the flow. A buzzer makes a sound when electricity flows through it. Inside, electricity makes a small piece of metal vibrate really quickly, and this creates the buzzing noise. You'll find buzzers in doorbells and game shows. A motor spins around when electricity flows through it. Inside, electricity creates a magnetic force that makes parts rotate. Motors can power fans, toy cars, and washing machines. Scientists and engineers use special symbols to draw circuits. It's like a secret code that's much quicker than drawing the real things. Try this at home if you have a battery, bulb and wires. Create a circuit to light the bulb. Then try adding a switch. Remember, a circuit needs a power source like a battery or cell, wires to carry the electricity and components like bulbs, buzzers or motors. Everything must connect in a complete loop with no gaps for electricity to flow. If you learn something new, hit the like button. Next time, we'll explore which materials let electricity flow through them and which ones stop it. You can also check out our complete electricity playlist. 